Hello, welcome back to Breeze of the Teacher's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking all about light energy. Not only light energy, but how light travels. So welcome to Science Friday. Before we get started, let's talk about some materials that you will need if you want to try this experiment at home. The first material are colored markers. Be sure to get colored markers that represent all the colors of the rainbow. I'll be using red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and orange today. But you can do any colors that you want. The more, the better. The second thing is a white piece of paper. I'll be using this as a white piece of paper today. A glass of water and a clear glass. You will definitely need a clear glass so you will be able to see the change that's happening within our rainbow today. So before we get started, let's have a little refresher on what reflection, refraction, and absorption means. Remember that reflection is light that changes direction when it bounces off a shiny, smooth surface like water, a mirror, or even metal. So remember, if you're looking at yourself, you are seeing a reflection in the mirror. The second type of way that light travels is refraction. Refraction is the bending of a ray of light when it passes at an angle from one medium into another and changes speed. This will be like if light was traveling through air and then it all of a sudden hit water. Not only will it change the angle that the, that the light is traveling at, but the speed actually slows down. And the third type of way that light travels is absorption. When light is absorbed, it is taken in and before we go in and flip this rainbow, let's see the steps that we have to take in order to complete this experiment today. The first step is we're gonna to have to make a rainbow on a white piece of paper. Look at that. If you can make your rainbow vertical, that will be much better because you might be able to see a huge difference in the water. The second thing is fill a clear glass with water. Number three is take the rainbow on the wall. And number four is move the glass of water back and forth in front of the rainbow. Let's see what's about to happen. So here we are, experiment time. I've already taped the rainbow up against the wall, just using a single piece of tape and making sure that my rainbow is vertical. If you would like to use different colors when, uh, when you would like to do this experiment again, go ahead. I've also filled up my glass all the way up with water. Oh, I can't show what the rainbow will look like because it's clear. Oh. <laughs> so make sure that the water is all the way full and you can go ahead and wipe down the outside of your container so you can really see in it. The fourth step was to take your water inside of that clear glass and move the glass of water back and forth in front of the rainbow. So I'm just going to keep doing it and see what happens. Look at the color. What color do you see coming up first and last? But wait, red's over there and blues over here. Let's see what happens again. Look what color comes across first. Right there, what color do you see? Blue, okay. Then purple, then green, yellow, orange, red. But red's on this side in the glass, but on that side over there. Watch closely. What is happening to the rainbow as I move the glass back and forth. Here it is in slow motion.
So my question to you is, what happened with the rainbow? Did it reflect, refract, or absorb the light? Remember, if this was reflecting, we would see a direct copy. The blue would be over here and the red would be over there. If it was absorbing, we would only see one of the colors and only one would be reflected. So what's left is refraction. It's bending that and playing a trick on us and moving the colors in an opposite direction. The light is bending through the water. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this Science Friday. Make sure that you tune in next time for Breezy the Teacher's YouTube channel. Be sure to press that subscribe button.